I'm Edwin Jackson. I'm from Atlanta, Georgia, and currently I'm an NFL player, inside linebacker for the Indianapolis Colts. I'm 25 years old, from Atlanta, Georgia, like like stated, and um, I've been playing football pretty much all my life since the eighth grade. I thought I was an average player, but I had my brother. He, he really believed in me and said that I really had what it what it meant to take to um, play on a Division One level uh, in college. So I really wanted to play football in college. I had the good grades, but I really wanted a scholarship, and I didn't get it. So after the middle of Bowl game, right, I was talking to the Arizona Cardinals, and they really liked me, and they said, hey, we want you to come out here and interview us. Come out there, we're gonna interview you. I get to the gate, and I said, hey, I'm, I'm trying to go to Arizona, uh, Phoenix. They said, oh no, your, your flight has already left. My heart sank, so I called my mom, and I said, Mom, I missed my flight. And she was freaking out. She said, okay, let's calm down. Everything's gonna be okay. You know, it, can, it really took a lot of stress off me. And she said, listen, we're gonna talk to your agent. We're gonna get your flight. Just come back home, relax, and you'll be on another flight tomorrow. So I go home. My mom, she gets everything set up and just relaxes me. And it's time to go back to catch my flight. And, and being in the South is rude to be late for something and show up empty handed. And she sends me uh, with a box of pound cakes. Just just knowing that I had so many people, you know, looking for, for me to, to succeed. And I also had people that didn't really care or or didn't really pay any attention to me. So it was it was the best of both worlds. I had great support, but also had the people that didn't believe in me and all those years where they didn't want to give me a fair chance and they didn't they thought I was undersized all those people actually motivated me as well but just having that good that good support base as a family I have, I have nine nine siblings and two two wonderful parents that they believed in me through the whole process even when I didn't make the first team they understood that in order for me to be ready, I have to be ready mentally. I have to uh, have a good, you know, home cooked meal. So my mom, she really said, you don't need a job, just just work out and I cook your food. And they were really okay with that. But I know that everybody doesn't have that. So I really took advantage of it and just was ready when my opportunity came. But um, I, I did, I had a lot of nights where I questioned if I still wanted to play, but my faith had to be strong. You know, I had to understand that I had to be patient and um, I just have to have faith in the unknown because when you just don't know what's going to be next, you got to have faith, man, even when you don't see it right in front of you. You know, it's not guaranteed. You know, you have to put in the hard work in the off season and you got to be humble. You got to be hungry and understanding that it's other young guys just like I was and they're willing to do almost anything just to be in a jersey. So I'm very humble and I know that it's not guaranteed. I don't take it for granted. I'm blessed to be here, you know, highly favored. And I know I represent a lot of people back home, um, just representing that name on the back of my jersey, Jackson, and just wearing that pride and every day, just living life to the fullest because you never know when uh, your career can be over. So I try to take care of my body and just take care of my mind and just understanding that it's a game and you gotta have fun when you play games. So um, I love it. Uh, through through the hardships, through the, through the aches and pains, I love it because it really changed my entire life. It was at times in my story when I said, this is what I want to do. And you can't complain when you when you pray for something that hard and you want it that bad, when you get it, you can't complain because this is what you want and this is what you've asked for. And I'm just blessed, man. So that's a little bit about my story.